Hi friends, welcome to Five Mantra. Uh, this is Alan Reddy. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, how to develop program logic without using programs, without writing programs. And there is very important, right? When you want to develop a logic, logic is uh, logic development is a simple. It is a practice, okay? And uh, that practice not required any programming language basics. Okay, only it is need exactly what is the problem and how to solve that one and how to divide the total problem into small problems. Okay, and uh, only what you have to do is only you have to concentrate on syntax. Once you know the syntax, any program you can do in a fraction of seconds, right? Okay, and this is the scenario what we'll do and uh, how to do that one and what are the uh, artifacts are required to develop a logic that we are going to discuss. Main important thing is, once you have a problem, that problem has to be represented in a better way by that we can analyze well, okay? And what are the tools we have? Means here, basic tools we have, one is a flowchart, another one is the algorithm. Maybe, what is the flowchart and what is the algorithm? Maybe it is a new terms, but it is a simple terms. Maybe you already worked with that, okay? Once when you want to solve any problems, already you have a, some, uh, picture in your mind and after that you will get a solution right same way here also for programming uh, you know for programming environment we have to give a solution by that we will use the less resources by that we can get the optimum okay once you got a problem okay once you know the problem then how to analyze the problem that we are going to discuss yeah algorithm is the one important uh, thing and this is the step by step process and with the help of that we will explain the solution in a words okay how to do this one that we are going to discuss okay before that what are the symbols we have that we have to know okay and here if you see that already I said how many symbols we have those are five symbols uh, I need to explain some problem first of all I have to start and uh, once it is completed, I have to end. Okay, that is the first one is a start. And uh, next, last one will be the end. And this is the symbol for that. Means it's like a ellipse. Okay, and how to represent? That will be represented with the help of this. Here, it is for input and output operations like... Uh, print and uh, getting data from the user and uh, giving data to the user for doing that we are using a this symbol it is a very simple right and how many symbols we have one and two symbols two one is a start and end another one is the input and output two symbols we have next important thing is data flow one direction which direction is data is going that will be explained by this okay this is the data flow Okay, arrow, simple arrow. It is a downwards, data is coming down. If it is upward, data is going top, upward, right? It is a parallel, it is going. So direction will explain how the data is transmitted from one process to another process, right? How to do the process. When CPU want to do the process, that processing will be done in the, using the symbol, okay? This is the rhombus symbol, right? Okay, how many symbols we have? One, two, three, four. Whatever the fifth symbol is, when I want to write a static data, okay, like uh, transferring one day, swapping the data from one variable to another variable or co copying values from one value one to another, that day, that code will be written with the help of rectangle. Okay, how many symbols? Totally five symbols. Now we'll discuss how the how to write a uh, flow chart that we are going to discuss right. Now, when you want to do any programming or any uh, application or anything, you want to give a solution with the flow chart. It is a simple way you can. Uh, explain okay you can understand okay uh, how to do that one that we are going to do right okay here when you want to write a flowchart first thing is you have to go with the 
ellipse and uh, you have to end with the ellipse. This is the start and the end. Next one, when you want to get a data from the user, okay, this is the IO. And when you want to process the data, this is the symbol already we discussed. And uh, when you want to do oh, like uh, some code, okay, static code, it won't do anything, okay, this will be in this symbol. And now I want to flow the data, <clears throat> the data will be like this, okay, first start, okay, next one is, after this it will go, next this, sorry, based on decisions it will, so basic this is the structure we have. Okay, this is the structure what we have and uh, this is the simple structure with the help of that what we will write a simple program. Now I want to find whether uh, everyone will ask okay if you want to do something what is your age right and based on that they will give you permission to do something right. If you are above 18 they will think like you are a major you can do anything right if minor it is uh, some difficulty you have some restrictions how to find this type of thing automation I want to do okay when uh, you want to do the automation what you want to get from the user that is important thing okay and once you got, got that the data you will process and after that you will take the decision right and you, first of all if I if you came, if I came uh, uh, some place okay if I go some place there was a, they will ask what, what is your age first okay and when they ask the age I'll give some number based on that they will decide whether should I give the permit or should I not give the permission okay based on that they will take the decision right how this will be taken by computer this is the important one that logic we have to send to the computer with the programming lab programming languages before that how to do that that will be explained with the help of this for example I'll ask the user age enter your age okay I don't know which age it is and if he enter what he enter based on the data how to decide whether should I permit or not permit means if he is a major I'll do the permission if I is not a major I'll do the I won't give the permission okay now I'll check that one that is the age is here I'll write the code I'll write the condition like age is less than 18 means is a when it is true okay when it is true okay this is the only condition we have when maybe it is a true or maybe it is a false when it is true it is, no, is nothing but a minor and uh, when is when it is false it is nothing but a major Okay, now this is the end and this is the start. Now same thing I want to do, I want to write a programming language. I want to write, prog select any programming language and uh, we will write the program, see that. After completion of this flow chart, this flow chart will convert into the uh, other programming language like Python. Okay, and it is a very simple language. The here a dynamic type system we have, and here uh, no need to work with the header files and all. In a simple way, we can do the flowchart. Okay, so we'll convert this one into the flowchart. First of all, uh, whenever you want to write any program in a Python, you have to go with the one scripting file. Okay, maybe if you are using IDLE or something there, uh, just go open an IDLE. There you have a file then you will get a new and uh, there you will get a one scripting file 
that will, when you press the new button then it will open a one scripting file okay once it is completed you will get a one environment and a, a one uh, notepad there you will write the code okay we will write that one code okay ready first uh, i'll get the age okay and uh, this is the age is a type what is the type of age we don't know it is a dynamic type based on input the type will be changed okay how you will get the input with the help of input function okay and uh, this input function directly will give the string data that string data you have to convert into a uh, integer type explicitly okay but that we'll do okay uh, before writing this we'll go with the integer is the one type okay and the next input once input is there here you have to write a message enter age this is the simple message we are doing no semicolon nothing in a python it is not required right int input age uh, enter your age once age is available i have to go with the condition here main important thing with the other language and uh, python is indentation we don't have a curly brackets only indentation means space is important right so here i'll go with the if age same style you can go 18 and uh, here you must go with the colon not semicolon colon once the indentation will be start from here and if age is true this condition is true here we have a print function not printf print function here you will write minor minor okay once uh, the condition is over then what after that once again else block is required else and uh, here once again it will goes to the indentation and that indentation will be start from here okay print and uh, major just to concentrate on indentation why because i cannot uh, do properly in this board right i'll explain with the idea also this is over it's over there is no curly brackets open close header files and all automatically that will be uh, supported by your python environment and uh, this program will be run automatically okay i think this is the program will run in a ideally that is uh, going to be good for you right okay just a moment now we are using python in this app uh, for writing a python program i am using a ideal shell and in this ideal shell i will write a program here uh, just to go with that file new file then you will get a one window that is uh, known as a script window right that script window i'll write right here i need one variable that variable is nothing but a age okay that variable is nothing but a age here i need age is the one variable but uh, just uh, understand what is the age age is the integer type or float type or double or what what do you want exactly i need age is integer so but if you go with the string function input function it is returns everything is a string only any programming language input functions are working with the strings only okay so explicitly i have to convert into my integer type so for that i have a integer function is there and in that function i am using uh, input function input function directly i am giving to the input integer type conversion okay whatever the data i am getting from the input function uh, the data will be automatically converted with the help of int function here i have to give you one message that is enter your age right once age is entered that statement is over now with the help of the statement i'll get the input next i need to check okay i need to check how to check that one see if uh, this is the block i have to use in this block i will check if uh, age is here i am doing another message another mistake that i have to close 
I have to close function, right? This is the input is the one function, int type is the one function, input is the one function. I closed with the two brackets, right? Okay, once it is completed, then I have to go with the age condition. Age is less than 18, what I have to do? Already we discussed this one, age is 18. I have to print, okay? Just uh, you can do any operation, but uh, I'll go with the simple message that is a minor, right? Is the minor right? Okay, small. P R I N T is the please minor double quotes minor. Okay, simple message I got. Next, what is name? Once it is completed, I have to go with the else block. Okay, else block will be else. Okay, now once again I have to go with the once else is complete else it will go with the branch right okay it is a, it will deal with the false block when it is false what i have to print print what is the message i have to print okay i know you will write in your notes right okay here i have to print major See that when you are listening the sessions, please be with the notes and go write your own code by that you can practice. Okay, which language you want, you know that language you can write same syntax and everything is the same. But the syntax will be different, right? Okay, but now it is completed. Now I have to execute the program. Once you want to execute the program, first go with the run. Here you have a run module. Before that, it will ask the save. Okay, and uh, one dialog box will come. Here I am writing one may one uh, what is simple demo if dot py py is the extension okay like uh, C language dot C and C plus plus dot CPP and uh, C sharp dot CSH okay and next uh, Java dot Java like it is a okay. now automatically it is executed enter your age now I am giving uh, four minor simple right in this way it will execute okay in a simple way it will execute once again see that once again i should i run okay run module this is the run module it will ask okay uh, 19 major it is a simple right in this way we will implement any programming language you can implement this uh, algorithms or flowcharts flowcharts are easiest way okay simply you can convey you can uh, give the explanation to any program any problem in a simple diagrammatical representation five symbols we have right thank you